We only got two rules in our camper, no shoes and no number twos. So what do you do when you're going harvest hosting or boondocking? I'm Kevin. And I'm Amy. And we're Camping, Camping Companions. Companions. start heading out on harvest hosting and boondocking, but there's certain things you have to consider when you're heading out on an adventure like this. If you don't know what boondocking or harvest host is, we've got videos on those too, which you can check out in the description below, but don't miss the rest of this video. Go check them out afterwards. Both boondocking and harvest hosting is when you camp without water, electric, or sewer. Boondocking usually means you're out in the middle of nowhere. Harvest hosting is when you're at a vineyard, a museum, a brewery. That means you have to carry in all of the water you're going to use and carry out anything that you put in your gray or your black tanks. And garbage too, don't be a slob. So how do you empty your black tanks when you're out there? That's what we intended to find out. We started out by asking a friend who we met on our Facebook group, Camping Companions. And if you're not a member of that, head over to Facebook and you can be part of our test panel, uh, help us judge thumbnails, give us your tips and tricks. Join our community on all, all things camping. Thank you to Amy McIntosh for this tip. First option is you can get yourself a portable black tank. And if you don't know what those are, most likely you've seen them in the campgrounds. It's a little portable station that is also called a honey wagon for some reason. You empty your black tank into this, which you can then pull or tow, to the dump station. And the idea behind this is you're dumping your black tank via honey wagon. Goes in the honey wagon, goes to the dump station, and you're empty. It prevents you from having to tear your camper down. You know, put your awning in, put your slide outs in, and gather up all your stuff just so that you could drive over to the dump station and then go back to your site and set it all back up again. And the thing is if you're boondocking, those sites are first come, first serve. So if you tear down and go dump, someone else can kind of come in behind you and be like, hey, open spot, we'll take it. And then when you get back, you gotta go find yourself a new one. So it's just to avoid a little bit of hassle there too. If you've got a honey wagon, which one did you get? We want to know, we don't have one yet. So give us a comment below, which one did you choose? Why, and do you like it? Would you want something different? We are trying to figure out what's the best one for us. When we started doing our research, we found this video from the channel all about RVs and he uses a macerator. And if you don't know what that is, that is the equivalent of using a garbage disposal to grind up all your... So if you'd like to see that video, you can check that out right here. I know we just sold it to you. <laughs> the video actually goes into some great detail. He does an awesome job. I don't think that's for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> we also found another channel RV Blogger, which does a how to dump at home, where you can actually dump your gray and black tanks into your sewer system at home. And if you want to see that one, you can also check that out right here. One of the suggestions that made the most sense to me was to just have another camping trip booked within a few days after your boondocking trip. One of my coworkers, Lindy, suggested to me that her and her husband, Lyle, when they go boondocking, they just make sure that they've got another trip booked and when they get to the campground, they empty their tanks first, then they set up for the weekend, and then they dump again at the end of the weekend. Makes the most sense to me. Another good option is an RV dealership. The one by us, Colton RV, where we purchased our rig, allows you to dump for free 24 seven. The gates are open, pull in, dump, take off, and you're good to go. It's possible that there's dealerships in the area. You might wanna check with them first before you go boondocking or harvest hosting if they do allow anyone to come in and dump. If it's open 24 seven like ours, there's not really the, the dump police waiting by <laughs> checking you out to make sure that you bought your camper from them. But again, it's still the nice thing to do is to double check before you go to make sure that it is an option for you when you're done. Another thing to look into are truck stops. I know the Pilot Flying J has dump stations right at their truck stops. So that's an option that you can check out if you're going on a lot more long distance trip. Another camper connection that we have is to check with the local town that's nearby. Some have a wastewater treatment plant that do have dump stations that you can utilize for free. You can also check with your local campground. Some of them will let you dump even if you haven't stayed there or for a small fee. 
Did you know that they have an app for that? They sure do. We found Allstays Pro RV dump sites and Campendium. Allstays free version includes limited info about camping locations. They do have a pro version, which has a wealth of information, plus a full listing of dump stations as a filter in their search tool. However, the pro version does cost $29.95 a year. It's an annual membership. So if this is something that you're really interested in doing, it's well worth it, but make sure you like it first before you go spend that money. I think that's geared more towards the full timers. I can't see where we could justify $30 a year to find dump stations for just the weekends that we're going to be doing at the Harvest Host. I am sure that you can find a blog or a forum or even ask your host where the nearest place is before you pay $30 a year. And I bet there's a website that you can find. Oh, there is. It's called rvdumps.com. There's a very interactive map that shows all the places that you can go to dump your RV. And if you don't have Wi-Fi at your campsite, check it out before you go and plan ahead. That way you know where you're going when you're done. So I think we got just about everything covered. However, I'm sure there's something we missed. So comment below. We want to hear from you. Did we get what you use? Do you use something different? How well does it work? <laughs> Write it in the comments. We'd love to hear it. Also, what do you want us to cover next? There's a million things we've probably not touched on camping related yet, and we are more than happy to share it all with you. We cannot wait to share our next adventure with you guys. Till next week. Happy camping. Happy camping.